So if you're looking for another coverage defense to run, today's video is for you. We're gonna spin the block on the coverage defense. We're gonna go ahead and give you another coverage defense you can run. Today is not gonna be out of a cover two shell. It's gonna be out of a cover three shell. But as always, make sure you go ahead and um, set your coaching adjustments first. Uh, my normal adjustments for this are just my normal adjustments for spinners. So I go ahead and put zone drops on for curl flats only. Leave the other two default. I put curl flats on 25. Then I put option defense on conservative. And that's it. But for today's video, we are going to be working in the 4-6 defensive playbook. As always, make sure that you head over to the 4-6 defensive playbook. Equip that and go into dollar. The formation we're going to be in is dollar. And before I go any further, make sure you look in the bottom right corner for my specific adjustments on the controller so you know exactly what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and so you can replicate it for yourself. And this is gonna be a really simple defense today. It's gonna to be called cover three lock. And what I want to make sure to point out is make sure you have auto, def auto defensive play call, auto flip defensive play call, make sure you have that on, okay? You want that on unless they're putting the man coverage that's baked in on the wrong side. So I'm gonna call this play and then I'm going to call a random gun play. And as you can see, they have trips on the left and the running back on that side. <clears throat> but this play is so good because it has baked in man coverage. And what's that, what is that, what that is useful for is you can do this right here. So let's say we're worried about a corner route. Okay, so we'll leave that curl flat there. That's gonna drop to 25, as you remember. Bell, maybe we're worried all about that crossing route right there. Or we're worried about the running back and we can take away the crossing route. We can man Bell up, but we're gonna wanna pinch our line and then we can just use her. Like you just put two men manned up and then just use her. And yes, this leaves the tight end a little susceptible and you're gonna have to cover a lot here, but hey, maybe we'll check that as to see what their reads are. We'll just see what their reads are. Okay, so that was actually a screen put, <clears throat> screen pass. But guys, this is a very conservative coverage defense. A lot of people will wanna try to hit the seams against cover three, and this backed off man coverage isn't gonna allow, allow them to do that very easily or quickly. I mean, honestly, you could just call it straight stock like this. Leave this guy here, actually running back side, user running back side, leave that guy here, there, and then user this side. And then you do wanna, you know, if if they're if they have a fast quarterback, that's that's good that that happened. If they have a fast quarterback, we'll go ahead and do that one more time, but we'll just put contains. If they have a fast quarterback, we'll use their running back side. And of course, you're gonna have zones dropping to 25. So if they start hitting you underneath a lot, what you can do is, well, this is against the trips look. What you can do here is put Bell on a hard flat, because as you'll remember, or no, they're not gonna attack shallow over there. You can put um, that guy on a hard flat and then go ahead and use her this side that way they won't attack shallow over there and you can kind of use their shallow in the middle right here. Oh. Cuz that that would be my assignment as my user. But essentially the point of this this coverage defense is to just man them up and then you can also do stuff like this. So if you're not worried about them putting a cro a corner route out there, you can just you can do this and then just have that deep coverage just in case it's like a deep cross or something, you wanna have that, defend that somewhat, and then kinda just use it the running back and just have the whole left side manned up. And that should not be a read. What are we doing? Uh, okay. Oh, this is a good example. So put a hard flat here, that way you have the Mabel, which is a 25 flat right there, and a, and a you know, basically zero to five, basically a five yard flat right here because a hard's basically gonna play like a two or three yard flat. And then you use her the right. And I would actually shade inside here so that if it is a crosser over top, you can kind of play more aggressive underneath. And if they do start, but 
if they do start cooking you with corners, then you could shade outside. See, that is absolutely bagged. And now we're getting into the Duffy. So let's go ahead and pinch our line again. We'll go ahead and contain and then put, put a hard flat. And then honestly, actually, we don't really need that. We don't really need that at all. Um, you can actually switch it up like something like this against a look like that. Man up the running back. Have the deep zone just in case they do put them on a wheel. That will be bagged. Then shade inside to look for the inside cutting of, of uh, number 15 there on that route. And then just use it the right side of the field. And there's just a ton of man coverage here. And then I put the other guy that was in a hook on that middle third to kind of fill that space that's vacated by Diggs being on a manned up assignment. And this is obviously a more advanced adjustment, but you can for sure do it. And it should work against this formation. I mean, we'll take that all day. If your opponent's throwing scared reads like that, quick snap in that. Okay, this is good. We'll end on this. This will be the last one. But we saw this before, right? So this would be a situation where you would just take away the man coverage, put him on a hard flat, shade outside, and then either man this up on the running back Yeah, since since we're middle we're middle hash and and they're not they don't have space over there on the left side as much as they would, I would say just man it up on the running back and and Brown. I mean honest yeah, yeah, yeah. Man it up like that and then just shade outside. And then you should be absolutely chilling. You should just you just need to watch routes coming to the right side of the field. Just like that and then of course you know haha <laughs> have a better click on and you know it, that that's the downside of coverage defense so you're seeing it right now we actually won't end on that because i don't want to end on that vibe but uh that's the downside of coverage defense because then you have people you know the quarterback potentially running free but here's another look that you can actually do that actually i'm glad we didn't end it there because you can actually double Mabel on the left, man it up, shade inside in case there's a crosser, and then just kind of play the middle of the field and kind of have, and then put that curl flat on the right on a hard flat so it's playing hard. Basically, we're playing for a corner left, and then we're just using on the right side. But all right, they want to run it. And obviously this isn't going to be the best run defense because it is a it is a pass defense set and we don't have a lot of blitzing and what kind of takes dollar to the next level as a run defense is when you have blitzing DBs coming in, which is why if you haven't seen the video yesterday yet, make sure you go check that out because if your opponent is starting to try to run and whatnot, you're going to want to heat them up. You're going to heat the running back up and the quarterback up with blitzes every once in a while coverage. Most of the time, you're not going to be playing coverage on um, like first and 10 on downs where you're concerned about them running more. But if they get behind the sticks, uh, meaning so like second and 12, third and 15 type of vibe, then you probably want to run more coverage sometimes to kind of try to lurk your opponent as they get more greedy down the field. That's kind of how coverage defense works. But when you're in a situation where it's a little bit more balanced, like first and 10, second and seven, third and three, you're going to want to heat them up more to try to get them to make a mistake. OK, so if you haven't seen that, that I'm sure I'll make another video on heating up your opponent in the future. But if not, I did make one just yesterday. Go ahead and check that out as well on how to get heat out of a cover two shell. Potentially, maybe tomorrow, I'll do a video on how to get heat out of a cover three shell to pair perfectly with this one. We'll see, but all right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you head over to themaddenacademy.com to get signed up for your first course to take your Madden game to the next level. It will help you become a better Madden player overall and become competitive at the game that you love. So with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace.